Hello guys! In this video I will show you a game jam project that I did. We finished like two weeks ago, we had two weeks of time. I spent like one week on sound design and the other week on helping the programmers to <laughs> fix, uh, fix stuff and so we can actually get the product out. And uh, yeah, it was a really good fun project. I implemented a lot of nice Unreal Engine toys like Ambisonics, Convolution Reverb, Submixes, Dynamic Mixing, all kinds of stuff. Um, and yeah, I'll just walk you through the project through the game actually, I will point out some things to you, explain how I did some stuff. Um, and yeah, let's let's see how this works. This is experimental. Uh, and I just basically just want to share this game with you and the sound with you. So let's let's hop into it. Okay, you know me, so you know I like to do the the throat singing stuff and this is exactly what you're hearing it's just pitch down some effects on it reverb delay and it loops it's pretty nice the button keys are just this one and a lighter you know and as soon as we start the game the music will fade out slowly and the intro sequence will start This city is out of control. Find the order. You have to do something. You have to find him. Find who? Deep, deep city has a rotten heart. Join the order. You must cleanse those sins. Find the order. He can help you. You must find him. Silence. Raymond, you have to find Raymond. Okay, the intro sequence, eh? So we didn't have any voice actors. Um, well, we had one for the main actor, main actress. But basically I just grabbed my girlfriend and we recorded the lines and I just pitched them down a little bit, put them through delays and reverb. I also used this poltergeist technique where you reverse the audio, send it through reverb, reverse the reverb and then you have sound fading in into the words you know like reverb swells and stuff it's really cool technique it's uh, rather simple but it's really effective also put some whispering in there like tick, 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 you know and um, put some synths in the background stuff works so the hotel ambience there are some people talking outside from time to time it's very subtle Let's hold on. There we go. Actually, does it even... Let me check something real quick. Does it even do anything to the mix? Minus 25. Nah. Okay, cool. Some people talking outside. There's the air conditioning. You can't see it, but I don't care that you don't see it. We got a street outside. And some people talking, and some cars passing by from time to time, not often. Yeah, like that. And... Yeah, the footsteps are just footsteps on wood. Sometimes you have these little creepy stingers coming in. If you listen carefully, you might be able to hear the foley of the clothing. It's very subtle, but it's there. I use convolution reverb for the small room. No ambisonics yet. Mm, okay. We got some inventory open and close sounds. They are also going into the convolution reverb. So it sounds like in the room. Same with the movement into the riddle objects. Okay, let's pick up something. Just grabbing my backpack, honestly. This little thing is a gold chain of my girlfriend. We just tick 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 tick, you know, did like that recorded it and uh, a pizza cutter of mine if you just ping it it goes like ting for a long time it's really cool layer that shit together and you have a nice sound 
let's listen to it again because I really like it. It's a nice high frequency, like hey, you know, it's special because there's not much high frequency content. Okay, let's pick up the file. It's you. Don't you see it? You're a crazy person. You're a danger to society. You need to be institutionalized. Do not listen to her. She never liked you. You're meant for great things. Find Raymond. So, this whole thing of the room changing, it's a huge layered sound. I'll maybe show it in an extra video. Um, there's also some rattling going on, which is actually ambisonics, so it's like around you, you rotate and it, it's all around you, which is which is exactly what ambisonics are, are for. We have a different ambience now. The stingers are much louder. The hotel outside is muffled, there's a low pass filter on it. And there's some new sounds. Howling wind, some creepy birds, and the footsteps have changed. Two naked footsteps, which is nice. Okay, let's... Okay, now we figured out that we are the crazy Kovacs person because she saw herself in the reflection, the same person as on the file. The hotel ambience is now completely gone. We're completely in the asylum room ambience now. Howling wind, some creepy animals outside, and also the drones come in, the deep drones. The drones are actually four different layers, their volume is controlled by four different timelines. Um, and they are out of sync to each other, So, you, and also on each game start the times of them are changed randomly, so you never will hear the same, the same layers appearing. It's all done inside Unreal Engine, so you, I know you can do that stuff in Wise and FMOD, but I wanted to do it in Unreal Engine only. The stuff you can hear over here that sounds a bit like wind, actually it's, um, it's a lot of screaming mixed together and put through some pitching and effects. So it sounds a bit like wind through the door. But actually it's screaming. There's also an ambient sound here that is very quiet, but it kind of helps with the orientation in the room. You can hear a muffled voice here, which is a sound that gets activated on a specific point in time via game code and its attenuation will be adjusted so to an attenuation that has a different low pass filter setting right now it sounds like what the fuck is he like in a coffin or behind the door but if you got headphones he's in a coffin um what is it luggage not coffin Caretaker has now a different attenuation. It's much more clean, you can hear the high frequencies. And also note how direct and clean it sounds when you're close to him. But when you go further away, it's much more roomy. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so I'm using dynamic reverb sense in Unreal Engine, which is an amazing feature. Obviously convolution reverb in this room. Naked footsteps, drones. Let's grab the key and get out of here for the final stage of the soundscape, which will leave the player alone with himself or herself and the consequences of Mrs. Kovacs's doings, which is a guy in pain. No more ambiences, just the footsteps, very quiet drone, and a large reverb is being faded in, so the player pretty much feels alone with the player as footsteps and the consequences. It's not, it's not realistic, I mean, this reverb for this room doesn't make any sense, but she's a bit psycho, we can do whatever. So yeah, that's that. I uh, had a ton of fun doing this project, this, uh, making the sound very dynamic and go up and down and changed on game states. This whole um, room dissolvement shader stuff, it's, it's all pretty much done by myself because... because reasons, and that, that means I was able to really mix dynamically, you know, what happens when and which submixes get faded in and faded out when and how. It was really, really cool. It was a small, tiny, highly concentrated experience. And I loved it. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. If you want to comment on the quality of this game or sound design, also post it in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>